The Xiaomi sub-brand Redmi's Note 7 Pro has taken the world by storm. It's got excellent cameras for its segment, but a few thousand rupees higher, Xiaomi's other sub-brand, Poco, has an excellent offering too in the form of the Poco F1. So which of these two have the better cameras? Well, let's find out in today's video. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 eTech and let's get started. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Now before we start, it's prediction time, Poco F1 or the Redmi Note 7 Pro. What's gonna win? Here's a poll, make a choice. Now both phones use dual camera setups, the primary sensors are from Sony. For the Poco F1, it's a 12 megapixel IMX363 with an f1.9 lens. The Redmi Note 7 Pro on the other hand has a 48 megapixel IMX586 sensor with a f1.8 lens. Now under good light, both cameras do well. The Redmi Note 7 Pro takes the initial lead with cleaner colors where the Poco F1 kinda ups the reds a little too much. Now in this shot, the details more or less similar, but if you look at the bottom of the image, you notice that the blurring is slightly better on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. It's got a faster lens f1.8 compared to 1.9 like I mentioned, and that's again visible here in this shot. The background's a tad more blurred. Now, the Poco F1's dynamic range is one of its biggest trends. It's just amazing. Here, as you can see, both the Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Poco F1 have the same detail in the highlights of the image, but when you zoom into the shadows, the Note 7 Pro actually has a smidge more detail, meaning it's got a little bit more dynamic range than even the Poco F1, which is just nuts. Now again, with this tree, the leaves have a little more detail in the shadows of the image shot by the Note 7 Pro. It's very minimal, yes, but the Note 7 Pro does seem to have an edge here. The Note 7 Pro also has a 48 megapixel mode. With this on, the Sony IMX586 sensor manages to capture even more detail. So when you zoom in, the Note 7 Pro, well, images shot by it have more detail. Here's another example. Look closely at the leaves. For portraits, both phones have 5 megapixel secondary depth sensors, not much between them. The edge reduction is similar. I do, however, like the skin tones on the Poco F1 a little more. Under low light, since both phones have the same night mode, let's start with that. The Redmi Note 7 Pro takes 12 megapixel shots with an effective pixel size of 1.6 microns. The F1, on the other hand, has 1.4 micron sized pixels, so it's a little lesser. The Note 7 Pro consistently outperforms the F1 here. Now, both phones have support for camera 2 API, so we've got Gcam with night sight here. So with night sight, both cameras get better, but the Note 7 Pro still manages to hang on to its lead. With video, both can do 4K, it's only the Poco that can do 60 FPS, but what you're seeing here is 1080-30 since that's where we get stabilization on both. They are more or less evenly matched here, the Redmi Note 7 Pro gets colors a little better in my opinion. When it comes to selfies, the Poco F1 has a 20 megapixel shooter while the Redmi Note 7 Pro gets a 13 megapixel camera. Images shot with the F1 have better colors and detail. With portraits too, it continues its advantage with details and colors. That said, the Redmi Note 7 Pro has been a pleasant surprise. It's managed to outperform the Poco F1 almost everywhere with respect to cameras. It's definitely punching way above its weight. Great job, Redmi. This seems to be the phone to beat in this segment. With that said, we get to the end of this video. What do you want to watch next? Let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get that done. Now share this video with friends and family if you can, thumbs up or thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon and here are a couple more videos that might just be relevant to you. Do watch them if you've not watched them yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.